Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. In today's video we're going to be going through some naming and drawing uh, practice for esters. Now in the previous video that we met um, this concept of the ester, so thinking that it's formed from when an alkanoic acid and an alkanol react together. In an equilibrium reaction we form an ester plus water. Okay, an ester, remember we also um, said is perhaps more formally known as an alkyl alkanoate, although we will use the term of ester. Um, now, in, in a subsequent video, we're going to go into this in some more detail, but we would call this particular reaction esterification, so the formation of an ester, okay? And it's a type of what we call condensation reaction, but more on that in the next video. Okay, that's, that's just so you know. All right, um, so what we're going to... What, what we're going to do in this video is just going to go um, through some of the practice, some practice questions of how we can look at what ester is going to form from two um, substances, then looking at, all right, well, how can we identify how an ester would break apart, or what, what alkanol and alkanoic acid it was formed from, and then also an example of naming. Okay, so the first question that we're going to look at is, okay, what's the structure of the ester that forms from these two substances? Okay, so we've got this alkanoic acid plus this alkanol. Okay, I shall split that out a little bit more so that it looks like that. Okay, so just as before, we can identify where the water molecule is going to be. Now, obviously, I can't do any kind of fancy kind of folding techniques in this video um, because I'm working on the whiteboard, but we can basically imagine like we've taken that out and then we're connecting the other halves together. Okay, so the rest will remain the same. Okay, so this is the bit that I'd originally be left over with, and then there's a connection, and then this is the bit that um, was part of the alkanol. Okay, so this one was known as methanol, and this one is known as acetic acid or ethanoic acid. So we've got methyl, um, acetate is the name of our ester. Okay, the next one we're going to look at, okay, if we have this particular substance, you know, thinking about, all right, well, how will that break apart? Um, or, how, you know, what, what alkanol and alkanoic acid would that form from? Okay, so remember, so we've got H2O going in to where this split happens. You know, we're splitting down at that kind of point. All right, and so then we can say, all right, well, I've got this component here, um, and then putting in my OH there, and then putting an H, and then this component over here. Okay, so that shows those two components. So this one is just as we did before. This one is called methanol. Now this is a alkanoic acid with one carbon, so this is known as methanoic acid. Okay, so this ester over here would be known as methyl methanoate. Oh, okay. Sorry, I realise it's just bumped bump off the screen. I'll just bump it up for, for a sec. Okay, so methyl methanoate. All right, so let's have looking at the last kind of question of all right. Well, once we're looking at a structure, how can we decide what its name should be? One of the most helpful strategies that I find is to actually to, to tease out what the, the two substances would be. Okay, so if we're going to start with this particular ester. Okay, so we've got one carbon over here, the ester group here, and then two carbons over here, and filling in the hydrogens. Now, in the booklet, you notice that we've done it with the abbreviated structural formula of CH2, CH3, and that sort of thing. Um, I'm just doing this to help you kind of visualise the difference here a little bit. Okay, so what we can know when we look at this structure is that this is the component that came from the acid, and this component here is what came from the alkanol. Okay, so without even actually splitting it apart, like, like to, to think about its two components, we can actually name each bit. Okay, and I'll, I'll show you that. So the alkanol, so it's got two carbons, so two is F, so it's ethanol. Okay, this this would be would be ethanol. 
This bit also has two carbons, so it, this is acetic acid. So that means that we've got F, and then from that, so it becomes ethyl acetate, or ethyl ethanoate, given that this can also be known as ethanoic acid. Okay, so ethyl ethanoate. So we can look at here, that's ethyl ethanoate. Okay, all right, so keep going with those practice questions. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.